Okay, bro. I know the last time I made a video about UBG, Kamaga would look like this. But I'm back to explain why they had to rework certain styles to be more like Hajime no Ippo and to explain two brand spanking new styles. Okay, well, not that new, but you know what I mean. Let's start with the Epo style rework. The main thing that has changed about Epo style is his new R ability titled Dempsey. Without going over the same things I did in the first video, Epo's main tool is his Dempsey roll. Epo lowers his stance to create balance and begins to aggressively weave his body in a pattern similar to the shape of an infinity symbol. Epo then fires a series of rapidly executed punches from both left and right angles whilst continuing his bobbing and weaving. This is precisely what the new R ability does. By pressing R, you will start to bob your head from right to left and if you rapidly press it then your character will become faster. While in this state you are extremely hard to hit but there still is a small window where you can be damaged. On top of that you will start seeing these blue streaks on you just like how it is animated in the anime. These blue streaks indicate that your M1 and M2 have now been switched into Dempsey mode and will increase in speed and cause extra damage to the player or their block. Dempsey can be used defensively or offensively which is why it's such an effective method for Ippo. Ippo can be seen using this in almost every single one of his Fight, so I think it's pretty fair that we can now use it outside of the ultimate. Speaking of the ultimate, it has been updated from Dempsey Roll to the now Tiger Crusher. This is taken from Ippo's fight with Takeshi Sendo, otherwise known as the Tiger of Naniwa, hence Tiger Crusher, specifically for their fight for the Japanese National Featherweight title. With just one round left in an extremely close fight, Ippo narrowly dodges Sendo's smash and follows up with a left hook to the body that hurts Sendo. Now affected by Ippo's body blow, Sendo anticipates a straight cross to the head, but it ends up being a a killer instinct faint where Ippo then uppercuts him and goes into a Dempsey roll. And I'll just let you guys see what happens from there. This is exactly like the new ultimate for Ippo style. If you're new to my channel, then you probably don't know that I rate how similar each fighting style is to their Hajime no Ippo counterpart. And in my last video, I rated Ippo a 99%. Now, I must have been smoking that ganja because somehow the new rework is more similar to Hajime no Ippo, meaning I'm literally gonna have to give Ippo style a 100% similarity rating. Quick, let's play a game. If you can dodge this punch, you win. If you don't, you have to like and subscribe. Ready? Hey, that would have broke your jaw. The next rework I want to talk about is Hawk style. Some major changes have happened to this style since I started playing UEG, so let's talk about it. The biggest change being in this new meter that you get. The three modes you can use are Base, Bloodlust, and Ecstasy. To get out of this base mode, you must deal damage and continue to deal damage or your bar will start dropping down. After each stage, your damage and speed will be significantly increased and your screen will get more and more red. This may sound random to non-Hajime no Ippo watchers, but is pretty canon to the anime when you think about it. You see, Brian Hawk is a POS. If you don't know what that means, you can search it up on the Urban Dictionary, but just know that he is a monster in and outside of the ring. His boxing ability almost relied purely on instincts alone, and he is an extremely unorthodox fighter. In his fight with Takamura, we can see how aggressive his style is, and even his trainer Miguel has said that his boxing is pure violence, like the name of the ultimate. His best and worst qualities during that fight was his anger, and when he utilized it right, he was beating up Takamura. This is why the more damage you deal, the more thirsty you are for the kill. Explaining why the middle stage is called Bloodlust. To add on to that thought, the final stage being called Ecstasy is a callback to Hawk's Ecstasy mode, where his body temperature increases and his eyes become bloodshot red. In this period, he is trying to go for the kill and his instincts kick in and take over. This is also the explanation as to why your screen becomes more redder, kind of like you have blood in your eyes. The other big change to Hawk style was his ability to backdash, which has now been added. Before, you can only dodge in one spot, causing the style to lack defense. This is a bittersweet change for me due to Hawk's defeat being because Takamura was able to find holes in his defense. So after the rework, how similar is it to H&I? Due to all the above mentioned changes and based on my last similarity rating, I'm gonna have to give Hawk style a 90% similarity rating. Now let's talk about this guy and this guy. I did swiftly break down Chrono style in one of my shorts, but here I'll be going in more depth. Chrono style is inspired by Manabu Itagaki. Best Boy Itagaki is now a member of the Kamagawa Gym since the new Challenger Saga. He is a professional featherweight boxer known for his incredible speed. He comes from an extensive amateur background and is said to be even faster than my guy Ichiro Miyata. While your punches may lack sting, your true strength manifests when you focus your concentration to its upper limits. This is a good description of Itagaki's boxing style due to him being very fast and intelligent, but some might say chinny. This does not make Itagaki trash by any means. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The anime has not had time to show Itagaki's true power, but in the manga, it is well illustrated. Itagaki's reflexes and ability to focus allow him to perceive his opponents as if they were in slow mo 
bullshit. As shown in his spars and fights like this one with Hoshi, he has even been able to see Ryu Mashiba's flicker jabs in sparring and has the ability to mimic other fighting styles through observation alone just like Takamura. He is truly a boxing prodigy. The description talks a lot about concentration and that is because this style's ability is titled focus. In focus mode, your speed and damage is significantly increased but if you are hit even once, your focus will be disrupted. This ability is not taken from anything specifically Itagaki has done but is inspired by him. You can see him trying to focus throughout a lot of his fights and makes it a point that if he locks in enough, he can do anything. In fact, in some of his professional fights, he doesn't even get hit once by his opponents, truly showcasing his speed and movement. Also explaining as to why those attributes are boosted when using chrono style. To get into focus mode, one must use perfect dodges, countering, and emotings to charge it up. This is not only because the devs have to balance the style without making it too easy to enter the OP focus mode, but because there are all things that Itagaki excels in. Itagaki is a known speedster who will use counter punches and use his movement to not take damage. On top of that, Itagaki is a fan favorite, especially to the ladies. So he's used to the fame, which allows him to be more comfortable enough in the ring to do things like this and even the Ali shuffle. If a real boxer were to do these things in succession while also showboating, you could see how it can make them enter a flow state. The reason as to why you can easily be taken out of focus mode and why you take a lot of damage is because Itagaki is known for his durability. There aren't big problems with his defense, but if the opponent does land, it usually is very detrimental to Itagaki's performance. Some other cool facts about Chrono Style are that when you enter focus mode, you are presented with a Dio sound effect that comes from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. The look as well is taken from Dio's time manipulation based powers and this is probably due to the developers being big Jojo fans. Even the name is taken from the Greek god Kronos who is the personification of time in a lot of old literature. Due to this style being very on theme to Itagaki's boxing, the focus mode being based on Itagaki but the name being different and random Jojo references, I'm gonna have to give Chrono style an 80% similarity rating to Hajime no Iko. Hammer style is the newest addition to the game and is something that I alluded to in this short that I made. Unfortunately, I was wrong, but I did predict Naomichi Yamada having something to do with UBG eventually. Naomichi Yamada, otherwise known as Barf Michi, is a well-known former member of the Kamagawa Gym. He was introduced during the two Rookie Kings arc and was a little who looked up to Ippo. Due to the growing fame of Ippo, the Kamagawa Gym had gotten a lot of applicants, but after they all failed the entrance exam, the only one left standing was Naomichi. This impressed Ippo because it showed a lot of heart and decided that he would make Naomichi his first Kohei. Naomichi is as unimpressive as it gets when it comes to boxing. But what draws you to liking his character is that he knows this yet still works hard and gives it his all. I mean the only difference between him and Ibo is that Ibo is actually good at box. After a lot of glazing, he eventually had to move away because of his family. We then gave him a goodbye and forgot about him. Until many episodes later where we get news of a boxer named Hammer now who is being trained at the same gym as former boxer Jason Azuma. We hear that he is the mandatory that Ibo must fight and it is revealed to the boys that he is in fact their former disciple. This new version of Naomichi is a professional boxer ranked 7 in the Japanese featherweight division and is known for his devastating body blows. An underdog, always in the shadow of those with more talent, is what the description reads and this is due to the fact that everyone, including people at our gym, knew that Naomichi stood no chance against our boy Ippo and was the clear underdog for their fight. This put a chip on Nao's shoulders and he then went on to do absolutely nothing again knocked out in the second round. Well, he didn't do nothing, I guess, since he landed some body shots on Ippo, including a solar plexus blow. This brings me into the special ability of Hammer Style, which is called Body Blow, a high damaging attack that saps your opponent's stamina. When using it against a blocking enemy, it will pry open their guard. For as trash as Hammer now is, this is a pretty broken ability. This comes from his fight with Ippo, where he demonstrated how he was able to climb the ranking so quickly. It was because of his subtle fouls, where he would pull away his opponent's guard and then land a body blow that usually stops the fight. This is why his special ability disables your block and obviously body blows have an impact on your stamina. This all leads into his ultimate, Guard Crusher. This is taken right out of his fight with Ippo. Now Michi, understanding that his only way to beat Ippo is by hurting his body, took it upon himself to move his guard and land a devastating body blow on Ippo. And then Ippo ate that shit and knocked him out, but this style overall has good damage, is easy to use, a broken ability that can be stalled, and quick hand speed, but it is also predictable, has below average block and dash, and the range is not that good. Due to these reasons, I'm gonna give Hammer Style a similarity rating of 87%. If you want to know about all the other styles, and I mean all the other styles, then you should click this playlist right above my head where I break down all the differences and similarities between Hajime no Ippo and Untitled Boxing Game. Mills Mafia out. Yeah.
Oh, shit. <laughs>